what are love languages? And we're going to pair this with this case. So most of you are familiar with this book. If you haven't, I recommend it. Five Love Languages of Children. There's Five Love Languages of Couples and Individuals. But when I read this book, I was like, when I first read it, I was like, this is great, but how do I take the love languages and convert them to something in treatment that would be very useful? So it's like you have one piece of the puzzle, but you need the other piece to kind of pull it together. So fast forward, and I look at these love languages, there's five, receiving gifts, uh, quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service, and physical touch. And like I said, the child's love language will often change uh, as the child grows and changes. And there's also love languages for parents as well as couples and individuals. So I'll talk about that in a second, but while we are focused on the love language for Hunter, there was also love languages for the parents as well. 